Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, I'm checking uh, Infinity Shell. Uh, the scenario is Cypher Legion of Boots. Bots has exploited a, a known vulnerability in our web application, leaving behind a dangerous web shell. Implant investigating the breach and trace the attacker footsteps. So basically, here we are not doing uh, red teaming, we're doing blue team, we're investigating. So they talk, there is a web shell, so we know the web shell. Uh, variability in web application. Let me uh, unpin this so I don't someone uh, me, someone doesn't call me later on. Uh, so be, we're doing uh, so what exactly? The, basically, this is the machine to investigate. Now you can ch start checking your your your, your permission. And you can see, uh, can we become root first? As you see? Yes, we can come root. So we basically have full access to this machine. So that you're not hacking the machine. Uh, even if you don't need to be root, because you can see they give you the ADM. It means you can read logs. You have the SU2. We have the all, we have everything most. And they said web application. So. So you can ask what's running in this machine for the sake of army port 80 is already said web socket. I think this is uh, they make sure so we don't attack the machine. Where is the uh, Firefox? It's here. So usually if you go now, let's wait for this our friend Firefox to start. I don't know why the it's in the middle of screen. Why is taking long to to pick up? Okay, if you go to localhost, it will tell you the damn it, what's wrong with you. Localhost, it tell you response method not allowed. You are not interested in this. We are investigating the machine itself, and you can understand why. Port 80 is in web so, uh, socket, so. Uh, I think they don't uh, don't think uh, try me they want us to do anything. Uh, we just investigate in this room. So because it's web application, the first thing you can just go to. Uh, first, you can check check with etc Apache uh, for the site enable uh, the enable uh, default. It it's w h uh, w var w h t p only port 80 which so it give you the idea to go to port 80 uh, and then you get cms site master if you google it it's 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 a, a little project uh, cms like a blogging system or something but also it has a lot of vulnerability. Remember the room uh, room talk about uh, uh, known vulnerability, and we're talking about web shells. So if we look, uh, for example, this CV, what it said, um, arbitrary fire upload. So uploading something. I'm not sure. But, uh, uh, this one uh, that you can Google exploit DB SQL injection. It means there is an RCE for it. I'm not sure if we can get the version from this side. So if I go, uh, where they put uh, the version? Usually not the license. Let's check the license. License is just GPL, I think. Okay, we are not interested. In license Vim readme. Um, Author Victor Simple Simia site. Uh, do they talk about uh, the version? Uh, post skin. Okay, I don't see the version 420 Tron. Where do you get the version? We're not interested. I'm trying to maybe we can find it so we can see we have. Admin font include uh, yeah you can say include is very interesting always uh, because it can give you the DB so you can say okay we we have the machine why we don't uh, access to it <laughs> that's something I don't want to go straight to the answer guys just give you uh, so the password is this 
uh, if I go to PHP CMS, if my SQL minus u root uh, PHP CMS minus password, if you have password, so show tables, uh, select everything from users. Uh, we go three user, uh, four user, show in case the, the attacker did something. Uh, we don't know if the email is there. Select everything from posts. Uh, nothing. So database, it's not like uh, interesting for us. What's this? Uh, nothing. I don't think to see it, and I don't want to read it. To be honest. So the database we can say is dead and exit. Uh, what else? October to what a sidebar widget logout login uh, DB foot uh, footer footer usually will have interesting information. Victor, the name of the author. I'm looking for the version of this thing. Uh, Okay, let's let's not uh, because uh, the story it tell you uh, they upload the shell. So now if they upload the shell, the first thing you say you go to var log folder. And now which log folder? If you, if you don't know, if you don't know, you can just use grep minus uh, minus i minus r a for binaries and you to read the, the everything. So I run. So we know what we're looking for. We're looking for something in this endpoint CMS site. So let's see for CMS site. This is if you don't know what you're looking for. I just say like that. Let Grab tell you where to look. You can see it already tell you where to look. So so let's cancel Grab. So we know where to look, and that's one new one because we're doing Apache. So if you go to Apache folder, this remember. Apache when you rotate the logs and you put a dot one dot two dot thing. So we have two logs here. Remember, sometimes people they they check this one, they forget to check that one. And remember, grab no it it insists grab tell you in the backup folder. So if I go vim others dot one, and then uh, if you look uh, carefully, the log log is not too big. It's uh, just hundred and ten file. Now. Uh, so, if the guy is uploading something, a shell and an application is PHP, you can just search for PHP, for example. Uh, you can see register.php, register, I'm not interested on in it. The next one, which register.php, register, uh, what else, register, register what's the next one register someone is trying to register register is not usually where you upload your shell you upload the shell you send it somewhere or you do something now we have index 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 or you can have a different thinking now this is one way login index index we can just do grab it. It's not a big file, so you can follow for profile.php profile. Uh, uh, look, look what happened here. Look at this one. Image.php. That's not normal. Because usually, if someone upload uh, upload the shell, so you upload it in an image folder or something. That's for the media. If you look at this one, that's the admin of font that includes. So what's happening that inside image folder? So if I go to the image folder, the first thing pick up for your head is this, this file called image.php. So if I go to image.php, you can see what this one do. It take the query as base64 and decode it back. So it means if we go to the log folder, where is the log? So so the endpoint now we know what's the endpoint. Endpoint is is images.php so now we already found one uh, found one image.php endpoint you see it's a get request in image.php so if we follow now the image.php file 
so we know it let's be lazy I'm, I'm just uh, a bit lazy now so just do grep minus i uh, images dot what the images or image I can't see scroll dot uh, php uh, others log one now it's easy for me to check and uh, now you can see what I'm talking about if you look now to the grab command this is the first one that is uh, uh, here is just connection but here it starts sending command you can see the command start coming at this point because it's base 64 now we can do this uh, new tab uh, zoom in so you can say echo so what's that base uh, 64 minus D so you can see sending command who am I so now let's check all of them now what is the next one the next one is <coughs> sorry query this one this four letter you can guess it should be an ID I think yes it's an LS okay is uh, doing the the, the authentication uh, what else I think this is the flag I'm not I think track me they don't like to show the flags so what I will do is to head minus C7 uh, so my C7 character of it equal What's what? Uh, yeah, that's the flag. So, yeah, that's the flag. So the flag is this one. It's uh, if you decode this one, you find the flag. That's the the flag of the room. So we found the flag. Let's continue with uh, the other ones let's see so this is the flag guys you can just do it for yourself when you are uh, when you do the room uh, so now we can check the others so the one before is the flag this one what is trying if config then what's the next one um, yeah we already solved the room etc password so it's checking it password and then what's that uh, the last line four character should be what I after I check etc password what exactly is checking here an ID or something let me do something uh, okay that's fine I want to test something guys one second uh, I want to check something because they they control in the port 80 I think so we don't attack it so let's see if uh, Python 3 minus mhttp dot server okay and uh, let me do copy minus rvar whtml dot cms server copy it to to the main can't create directory permission denied hold on a minute what's this uh, folder is pw home ubuntu uh, home ubuntu because the hack me doesn't want us to where is our firefox localhost 8000 and then what that CMS master site uh, they can't run it there's no PHP there we can't run it I need to uh, PHP server not just the server to run it mm, but port 80 uh, it has that uh, websocket and uh, how to kill that websocket so you can see the site mm. PS IUX grab minus I websocket 
Hey, that's the about eighty Iranian. This is why we can't access that port 80. But in any case, let's not do anything <laughs> outside the, the room. So basically, yeah, guys, this is so if you do that, you find your flag. That's the flag. The idea is just check the logs and you solve the room because they said uh, a web app. We know the web app. What is it? Uh, yeah, and you can see the, uh, the, the file for it. Yeah, so, so that's it. Thank you very much, guys, and, uh, and have a good day.